at 5. Good evening, everyone. Tonight we are releasing an exclusive News 8 poll for Rochester's mayoral primary race between Democrats Lovely Warren and Malik Evans. So the numbers appear to favor Evans, but upon closer inspection, you'll see why it's still very hard to predict what will happen on primary election day. With one month to go before we find out the winner of the primary race between Rochester Mayor Lovely Warren and Council Member Malik Evans, Emerson College Polling Director Spencer Kimball figured he had a good idea of how Warren would fare in this survey. Obviously, with everything, all the news out of Rochester, we were expecting to see the mayor really struggling. We see that in her approval, but in the ballot test, we see a competitive race for mayor. After polling 1,000 Rochester voters, Democrats, Republicans, and others, Warren's approval rating came in at 35%, which is low when you compare it to that of President Biden's 70%. But in a head-to-head -head matchup with Evans, Warren is getting more, 39% of the Democratic vote to Evans, 49%. Here's the important part, though. When you just look at Democrats who say they'll likely vote, the race basically becomes a tie. So in order for Evans to be able to pull off this victory, he's going to have to get out some of those voters that are somewhat likely to vote. On the flip side, if Warren gets out her base of support, primarily single African-American females, then she could have an upset victory in this election. Nazareth College political science professor Tim Neeland sees a path to victory for Warren, but says overall this poll is good news for Evans. I think it will help him in terms of fundraising, which means that this could be a very tight and, and in fact, uh, an upset in the primary. Whereas a few days ago, I wouldn't have said that, but seeing these polling numbers, I, I think it's actually trending in his favor. Now, Emerson College conducted this poll after Mayor Warren's husband, Timothy Grandison, was arrested on drug and weapons charges. So we were able to ask how that episode is influencing their vote. And the findings might surprise you. We're going to dig into that on News 8 at 6. Ahead of June's primary election, News 8 and the League of Women Voters of Metro Rochester will be hosting both Rochester mayoral candidates for a debate. Challenger Malik Evans will take on incumbent Mayor Lovely Warren this Tuesday at 7 p.m. That's tomorrow, 7 p.m. It's going to last an hour. That debate can be watched live on air, but it's also going to be live streamed over at rochesterfirst.com. Because of that, tomorrow's Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy will be preempted. Wheel of Fortune will air at 1.37 a.m. Jeopardy will air at 2.37 a.m.